Hello friends, welcome, welcome to our channel. I am Arun Kumar and this is our channel Chemistry Crafters with Banu. Today we are going to increase the thickness of disinfectant phenyl solution. These phenyl solutions are prepared with polysorbate 80. It is white color phenyl solution. This is colored phenyl solution. Of course, perfumed phenyl solution. To increase the thickness of phenyl solution, many methods are available. Either we can use xanthan gum or carbopolymer or guar gum or any other materials. Today we are going to use carbopolymer. But the important thing is we can use any material but for each and every material there are some specific procedure. We have to follow the specific procedure otherwise there will be a layer separation and we cannot get homogeneous thick phenyl solution. Now let us start the process. This is two step process. The first step is preparation of carbopolymer gel and the second step is addition of carbopolymer gel into phenyl solution. Let us start the first step that is uh, I am taking 1 liter of RO water in a broad plastic tub then I am charging 10 grams of carbopolymer here two points we need to understand I am not directly adding the carbopolymer I am adding through the mesh because if I add it directly it will form clumps and the second thing is I am adding the carbopolymer slowly little by little after the addition of carbopolymer it will not dissolve immediately. It takes time 5 seconds or 10 seconds or 20 seconds. After that it will dissolve and disappear. So this is called as a swelling process. So slowly I am doing for entire 10 grams of carbopolymer. After the addition I need to wait for at least 30 minutes to 60 minutes. In this time the swelling process will be getting completed. At this stage it is not gel consistency. After addition of triethanolamine solution we can get it. We have to raise the pH till 6 to 7. Only within this pH range the gel formation will be maximum. So I am adding triethanolamine and getting the clear and transparent gel. Now step 1 is over. Now we will go to step 2, I mean addition of carbopolymer gel into dilute phenyl solution. So I have taken white phenyl solution and colored phenyl solution. In case of white phenyl solution, I am going to add 100 grams of carbopolymer gel. That means in a 100 gram carbopolymer gel, 1 gram of carbomer in 100 ml of water. Again. In case of uh, colored phenyl solution, I am going to add 150 grams of carbopolymer gel. That means 1.5 grams of carbomer plus 150 ml of water. First, let us start to thicken white color phenyl solution. I am going to prepare 1 liter phenyl solution, thick phenyl solution. So, I am taking 3 or 4 liters capacity plastic vessel. Because during the blending process, there will be a foaming, more amount of foaming. So, a big vessel is required. At first, I am charging approximately 100 to 150 ml of dilute phenyl solution. Then, I am charging carbomer gel. Then, start to mix. Again, I am charging all the remaining white color phenyl solution little by little with continuous stirring. Now the process is over for white colored phenyl solution. Now we are going to apply the same process to colored phenyl solution with only one difference that is we are taking little amount of excess carbopolymer gel I mean 150 grams. So as usual I am charging some amount of phenyl solution then I am charging 
carbopolymer gel this is 150 grams then i am adding the remaining penyl solution little by little with continuous stirring so i am getting the process completed here the important thing is blending speed otherwise there is possibility for layer separation just mixing is not sufficient mixing alone is not sufficient now let us allow to settle both the solutions for 24 hours now 24 hours over now both the phenyl solutions are homogeneous and there is no layer separation i will transfer the phenyl solution into a glass beaker so that we can observe the thickness this is white color phenyl solution thickness has improved totally we have added only one gram carbopolymer to improve this much of thickness this is colored phenyl solution here we have added totally 1.5 grams of carbopolymer so this much of thickness is sufficient either 1 gram carbopolymer or 1.5 grams of carbopolymer in any brand we cannot observe more thickness we can observe either equal to or less than this much of thickness only and one more important point we will discuss here if we are adding some amount of extra perfume means we will get the long lasting perfume smell during the phenyl usage because we have added thickening material so this is extra viscous phenyl solution so the rate of evaporation is slow suppose if we have added some extra perfume means then we can feel the perfume smell for long time that's all but even though adding extra carbopolymer gel is not advisable maximum 1 gram or 1.5 gram is sufficient if we are adding 2 grams or 2.5 grams of carbopolymer for 1 liter means you will get gel like consistency it is not required for uh, many reasons some of the reasons are it is difficult to wash during the cleaning process in bathrooms because highly thick highly viscous so it's not easy to remove from the surface so we need to give some physical pressure extra water and then it is not possible to spray with bottle 